Good morning and welcome back everyone. We're continuing to clear out the clouds and as we do so just before sunrise is when we see the coldest temperatures of the day and without the clouds to trap in the heat, we really are on the chilly side right now though seeing the most comfortable temperatures around the coast where we're near 40 degrees stepping outside though to 37 in Medford to start off the day. Siskiyou County in the 30s and then to the east of the mountains. That's where temperatures already dropping down to the teens. Now right now we're in between two systems. We have this area of high pressure. It's the pocket of dry air that's been over us, continuing to scoot its way off to the east. Now as it does so, it's going to make plenty of room for this next system. Right now it's just showing up on the satellite radar as this big pocket of clouds. Now with this moisture headed our way, we're going to be talking about more than just an increase in cloud cover. We're also going to start looking at the chance for some rain showers headed our way. Now today, keeping around plenty of clear sky, not only throughout the morning, but even throughout the lunch hour. It won't be until later on this evening, so closer to dinner time or 6 o'clock, that we welcome in that big blanket of clouds pushing its way down into the valleys. Looking to stay dry though overnight, and it won't be until early tomorrow morning, closer to 6 a.m., just before sunrise, that Douglas County welcoming in a few light rain showers. A few showers, so that area of green representing some light rain headed your way as well for the Oregon coast early on tomorrow morning and just keeping around that chance for some widespread showers as we work our way to 10 a.m. 10 a.m. is going to be when we start to see valley showers out there and then through the lunch hour just continuing to watch those sink down all the way down to southern Siskiyou County. So that includes Mount Shasta City, Montague, even Medford area by lunchtime. Seeing a few light sprinkles. Even to the east of the mountains, Klamath and Lake County, you aren't missing out on those few light showers either. As we wrap up the week, though, that's when we're bringing in some more sunshine and starting off Saturday with plenty of clear sky. In terms of how much to be expecting out in the gauge, very little to nothing actually accumulating for, of, for us and most of us just seeing about a tenth of an inch. Bulk of the moisture is going to be up to the north, so if you head closer to Portland, that's going to be where you see the showers. Today, though, if you're off around the coast, lots of sunshine means another comfortable day as we just work our way towards 60 degrees. Northern California, lots of sunshine for you as well, slowly climbing our way up to the mid 60s by this afternoon. In Southern Oregon's valleys, just a couple degrees cooler than yesterday, so not quite hitting that 70 degree mark today. But then again, not far off. We're going to see some upper 60s thanks to the sunshine. To the east of the mountains, lots of sunshine headed your way as well. Temperatures with highs near 60 degrees. Across the mountains, almost identical to yesterday. We are going to keep around lots of sunshine and temperatures in the 60s for Prospect and then some mid 40s for those high elevations like Crater Lake. Coast next couple of days, we're going to see on again, off again cloud cover. A few wispy clouds out there today. Next best chance for some denser clouds and even some rain showers coming to us throughout the day tomorrow. Now, just in time for those weekend plans, though, we're going to be clearing out the clouds and keep around some mid 60s for highs. In the Klamath Basin next couple of days, a few passing clouds for you as well this afternoon. That means another chilly night without the clouds, but Throughout the day tomorrow, that's where we could see a few passing showers, mostly though in the basin. We're just talking about some cloud cover bringing us down to the mid 50s. Northern California looking at the same story today, though. Nice one to be outside as we bring along some sunshine and highs in the mid 60s. Wrapping up the week, though, so for Friday, I throw in that rain jacket just to be on the safe side. It's looking like these rain showers will be very short lived throughout the afternoon and then replaced quickly by some sunshine by the weekend. Rogue Valley keeping around that same thing, just a couple degrees cooler than yesterday, but still near 70 degrees for that high this afternoon. Into Friday, though, that's where we're going to see a few more clouds and even a chance for some late morning and early afternoon passing showers. Expecting very little to actually pick up from this, but still maybe throwing the rain jacket to be on the safe side. Definitely won't need that rain jacket for this weekend, though, as we bring along some sunshine and some more 70s.